What you gotta love is in the chat. Fathom this says, I'm new to Patreon. Is is there something I'm missing, or are the boys just running late? <laughs> Omega Muster, it's normal. Welcome to Patreon. <laughs> What's Welcome. up, everybody? Welcome to the Kind of Funny Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scar P. No. Uh, three things. One, we're worth the wait. Mm -hmm. Two, good to see you, Greg. Good to see you. It's been a while. Uh, and three, I had a massive rotator cuff injury to that shoulder about a week ago. Just letting you know. How does it feel when I hit it? That's fine, actually. <laughs> how, How's it, how did that end up? Because I, I, I was here at, for the direct aftermath, and then I was gone. Totally fine. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things where you freak out. You're like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm going to die. And then two weeks later, you're like, all right, this is going to hurt for the rest of my life. And it's really oh, fine. sure. Went to the guy today, oh. and he was like, uh, uh, he was like, can you do this? Can you do this? Do the whole thing. He's like, give it four more weeks. Come back. Nice. I was like, sick. You're like, man, this, how much was the copay? Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right? exactly. It was so much that when I put that, when I gave the lady my card, she goes, "You want to take care of the copay today?" She looked down. She goes, "Oof, <laughs> that's a tough one." She goes, that's a big copay. She's like, "I'm sorry." She apologized to me. She still took my money though. Yeah, yeah. So I had the fine. other one. I went to the dermatologist a few weeks back. No big deal. I went to get my prescription from the CVS. Or I'm at the you know copay. No big deal. Go to the CVS. I'm like, yeah, I'm here to pick up three prescriptions. He's like, all right, we'll only have two. One of them's just over the counter. Over the, all right, cool, no problem. And as he goes, he, he looks at the first one and he goes, uh, before I even ring this up, are you aware it costs this much? Turns out three hundred and fifty dollars. That's a no. Oh, that's not covered by insurance for rosacea man. stuff or whatever. Yeah, and I'm like, not and I'm man. like, that's with insurance. He's like, that it's five hundred fifty. Whoa, the, the red, how this like red prickly like a rosy stuff I got. Rash, yeah, mm. yeah, 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 yeah. Condition that's. Yeah, so I was like, I'm good. I'll get through a Cetaphil wash. I'll be all right. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Takes, he takes some SPF 30. He's like, fuck it. This is good enough. Good enough. Dead. Yeah, that's what I keep telling Jen. You know what I mean? But she's trying to make me perfect. You got to go You gotta go for the YouTube <laughs> cures. It's like, just like oh, this this weird thing that I get, and I'm sure you guys get this as well, because all of our algorithms, of course, are Never exactly like, like mine, right? Where it's like, there's a weird thing happening with like an ingrown hair on in the back of someone's hair, and they squeeze lemon on it. <laughs> have you seen this stupid shit? No, I have not seen this I one. feel like we've it's established that shit. Nick's algorithm is wildly different <laughs> yeah. than the rest of ours. There was a moment, because I know you were feeling a little down over the weekend, where I, was, I, set, I typed a text, and I showed it. I was like, I'm going to send this to Greg. Do you think this is inappropriate? This is and D? I, it's a D. And I showed it to her, and she goes, wildly. What was it? Wildly <laughs> inappropriate. I, I showed mean, you my nude. What else do we have left? I mean, uh, it's just, <laughs> I was like, Greg, I'm getting this. I'm getting a certain type of video referred to me on Instagram now that I think you would think is funny. Okay. But, <laughs> but D was like, I don't think anyone's going to think that's funny. And what I was the video? Was it the video with the lemon? No, it's, it has to do with cats <laughs> doing stuff to each other. It's just for whatever reason, Nick, I'm getting nothing you but need videos. to stop. I'm getting videos of cats, like, kind of licking each other's asses. Okay. And like a serpentine sort of like a... <laughs> <laughs> you created... You know what I mean? It's like oh the snake God. eating its yeah, own tail yeah, yeah. sort of thing. And I was like, I feel like Greg would think this is funny. But like, I don't know. Here's and, the and thing. D was like, don't I wouldn't, that to him. I wouldn't have gotten as just a video. I wouldn't have thought it was funny. I wouldn't have been upset. I appreciate D sure. looking out for me. I wouldn't have thought it was no, funny. I wasn't a video. I was saying, Greg, I'm getting this type of video. <laughs> what do you think? Is, is, what am I doing wrong? I wasn't going to say the video. I was going to subscribe to you. I would have thought that's okay. That's what I thought. Been, that would have been great. Fucking A. Fucking D. You know I wasn't I mean? down. I wasn't down. Dude. Dude. I was just Ruined in the good joke. sick all week long, you know. So it's like, this weekend, I don't know if you caught it, because I know you only check in once in a while. I tweeted you. I saw that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Got a lot, of, a lot of traction on that. Yeah, you know? <laughs> what did you yeah. tweet, Nick? Oh, I, love I did see this, too. Yeah, yeah. You, know what, you know what my first thought was? Wow, this is going to stress Kevin, him out. Kevin, can you dig that out? It's this just going to stress him out. It's what I, I, directly, gonna... I direct tweeted at Nick, at Nick Scarpino. It's going to be it's gonna... not on my main feed, but my mentions would be there for you or whatever. You I, know? I, yeah, I want to say, it to paraphrase. Well, wait, well, I mean, Kevin, I'll give it two seconds. But that, that, this is the way our minds work, yeah. Tim. All right, our minds. I yeah. laughed. Yeah, your our minds. Nick Great. and I, the friends, yeah. the assholes, the assholes. The, uh, we're not like you. Mm -hmm. Tim clocks out at five and couldn't give a flying fuck about any of us. God, he's such a oh. businessman. Uh -huh. Joey, remember that time there was an intruder in your house and Tim wouldn't even pick up the phone? <laughs> Sickening. Tim right. goes home. He takes even his more suit terrifying. Off, there could have been a secret intruder. Suit. You know uh -huh. what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh huh. And then when he's here, closed book. Yeah. You know what I mean? Greg tweets this at me. I laugh. Then I start reading the responses. Then I get sat, like scared for Tim, which also makes me laugh. <coughs> Let's see here. It's mm, not the Annette Benning movie. 
Is this my at my everything? Yeah. Jesus, you tweet a lot. I tweet. I like tweeting. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, this well, now we're too far. You're too far. It was, from, too far. It was from like yesterday. Yeah, it was like yesterday, Saturday. Saturday or yesterday. Uh, check yeah. on yeah. Check the twenty. Oh, there, there it is. Twenty three hey, hours oh. ago. <laughs> at Nick Scarpino, do you think they'll forgive you? Do you think God will? God capitalized. You always capitalize. Of course. AP style. And then of course Brent. 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 Bryant. Bryant. Because I don't know what this is about, but I think God gave up on Nick a while ago. <laughs> it's all true. I, there's a lot of interesting responses here. Mm -hmm. I didn't see Tim respond. Though. No, I didn't respond. No, but I almost responded. Well, again, it's after five. I Nine almost to five responded. Maybe you could have Tim's attention. So, Tim technically on the clock. I was going to respond, Greg, when you get in on Monday. You're yeah. catching hands for this, but I didn't want to get kicked off Twitter for threatening another human being. Sure. Why don't they do that said, anymore? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think they encourage it now. You probably would have gotten a free month of verification. They're like, oh, here you go, and man. And Groot the AI would have talked Musk. more for you or whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> Don't worry about your gas shit. pedal. Too What's going on? on? What happened to your gas pedal? Oh, it was a whole Cybertruck gas pedal oh, recall thing. I, thought I just you assume everything's related to Elon Musk now. City truck injury to your gas pedal. No, 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 no. There's just that thing sliding, apparently, which I, is interesting. I know that the Elon Musk shit talk is like the easiest thing in the world. And I, I, so I, but that's it. this guy I, sucks. I just <laughs> almost feel bad even bringing up something like this because it's like, if it was anyone else, I'd, I'd really be like, we, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. But because it's him, I feel like we got to. Have y'all seen the, the, Video of him on the red carpet recently, where he's like flexing and posing, and, <laughs> and he's just like <laughs> posing for the cameras, and he's like he's the doing all these all like time. different uh, emotes essentially from like Fortnite, Fortnite but like yeah. not on purpose. Like that's not the reference he's trying to make. He's just literally like thinking like, what would be cool if I did right now? And it's the funniest thing I've ever seen because like that. I look, I've been there. We've all been there in some way. I'm just like, I, I don't know what to do right now, but I need what to do, do something, do so I'm gonna do it. And just God, the way he moves, I'm like, this is just, you're awkward, dude. You're just an awkward dude. No amount of money can can change that. Can mm -hmm. we shift though and talk about it though? The glow up that is Zuckerberg 2.0 right now. I it's AI. Hate it. it was it AI? Yeah. Shut up. That's the world we're living in, everybody. That wasn't real. That wasn't real. Why? Why does he go for that look? <laughs> he like, should do it. So me and she had a conversation look. about that this morning that was because AI. I, I just saw it. I, I didn't look seen into this, it. Kevin, if I you can find it was Zuckerberg 2.0. And I'm like, good for you, Zuck. You're doing because, a cool no, thing. No, but he looked better. He did at that UFC fight. So that's so the thing. This must be what AI is. Did the AI just base that off of that? Because he looks good at the UFC fight. He looked jacked out. And he's wearing like a good, like a cool shirt, like a cool guy shirt, mm -hmm. a like super cool guy shirt. <laughs> no, but it was like bit, it was like oversized t-shirt, which is kind of in. And he looked good, and he's been doing jujitsu, so I assume he's working out. But the pictures got more and more like intense. Where there was the picture of him with the little goatee and like yeah. like his face looks good. He had a chain on all Wait, this stuff. So where should I be looking? For just, just type in sexy Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, AI, dude. This is how I. This is I. I'm gonna be so lost in a year. I'm yeah. already lost. But, I, but this is the type of thing for me that, where you that's found. extremely scary mm, because it's like, mm. I saw it, I didn't even look into it, it was just the AI that's just happening to me, and I would yeah. have never known it was AI had it not been brought up to me. I didn't know until right this very moment. So yeah, yeah. look at this. But I that was AI? See, look, the, the picture on the left was AI'd to look like the one on the right. Wait, which one's the real picture? The one on, the left. on the left. That's that's Zuckerberg, and then people, it's AI'd to look cool. I like that the source they have for this is the Betches Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> True reporting on boots yes. on the ground. Okay, so the hair is his hair. So all he would need to do to complete this look is just grow the beard out a little. And bit. so that was the conversation and me and you were having. Blue in the. Yeah. Oh, they made them always it's like blue. a glorified yassified. <laughs> exactly, but but that's the thing is like we were talking about it. Of like, all right, cool. Like now, if he were to do it, it's gonna look desperate. It's gonna look like oh, he's just looking at that. I'm like, what's the problem? Who there? gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck? If someone was like Nick, you look ten times sexier with a mustache. Yeah, I'd cut the mustache and thank AI. I understand. I would dude. thank our new Uber overlords AI, mm -hmm. and I would go forward and grease their fucking tracks or whatever they need me to do. That's something. They can, he also looks yeah. is giving so much of the Justin Timberlake in yeah. the social network. Kind of well, they, yeah. <laughs> they also put like, yeah, they did lighten his eyes up a little yeah. bit here. Because his eyes on the left look like the cold, dead stare of a tech billionaire. Mm -hmm. And on the right, it's like... They have a little sparkle of light. A little sparkle. A little, a little sex appeal there. They gave him a little... It looks like they, they sharpened it a little bit, too. So he had a little... You know, because his guys get like a little crow. What do they call them? The crow's feet on crow's their feet. eyes. A little mm -hmm. George Clooney. That's not bad. Yeah. She's Christmas in <laughs> April. Joey Noel. Hello. Hello. How are you? Thanks for joining I'm us. I'm good. Thanks. You know, when Nick did open with the cats looking at each other's assholes, I was like, maybe I should have stayed in the other room. But at this point, me. you know that any podcast you're stepping on, you're oh, like, why yeah. am I doing this? I shouldn't have done it's this. Very this true. Is, they call it the serpent sometimes trap. They're, sometimes they're better than others. That's just 
what I like to call kind of funny roulette. Because mm -hmm. you know it's going to happen. Yeah. One of these days, it's going to be a real bad comment. But who's on camera for it? Oh. And that's why I appreciate We've it so already much. Been there. <laughs> that's why I appreciate it so much already. when you and me were doing our amazing uh, Kong Godzilla bit. You know oh. what I mean? Where we were in the thing and Tim wanted to be kept out of it. And then they brought him into the picture in picture so that he could be there. Be there. No matter what bad thing was We're about here to be for said. the good. We're here for the bad. You take them both <laughs> where you have the facts of life. Facts of life. I, the thing about Greg, though. Thank you. I mean, the thing about Greg Thank you. and Nick, Thank they're you. two different things. But oh, Nick yeah. always has to one up. So whatever someone says, he has to take it one step further, which means person A always needs to go, not go to the line. They need to go one step behind now, the line now, now. so Nick has a little bit of wiggle room or else we're all fucked. That is true in most circumstances. But with Greg, I know that Greg's going to shoot so far past whatever line that I have mm -hmm. that I'm then just there to lay down the pillows for when he's coming down. I'm foundation guy. Okay. I'm backing him up guy. But you're I'm, also, I'm, you have levels of laughter that we all know. And Greg has a level of laughter from you that if he gets, there's a, a certain like mm -hmm, pitch of laugh mm -hmm, that yes. if Greg hears from you, oh, yeah, he's, he's going. tripling down. My and it's about to go as far as possible. And I'd like to think that that Kong Godzilla segment bit, whatever you want to call it, isn't oh. as far as possible. Oh, no. no. But I want to think that that is as far as we'll go. You hope. I, I, I would hope, Joe. Yeah. Suicide of a big monkey. It depends. <sighs> If, is Andy in the room? Because Andy really is, for Greg and me, the deciding factor on how far can we push it. It's if less you get about, Andy, you need to keep going. Can See, we get Andy? Can we make Tim that. uncomfortable? I think Andy is your Andy and Tim is my Andy. You know fair. What I mean? fair. <laughs> That's that is, the thing. Because no. you know why? Because we spend a lot of time like creating those. Like I'm always on camera with Andy. You're always yeah. on camera with Tim. Dynamics. So we do have that dynamic. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah I feel that. For my money, it doesn't get any better than that goddamn joke. That was the funniest. I've, that was we the hardest I've laughed. You know what I mean? In a very long time. That's why it's the number one video on Kind of Funny. Number one, all the way to the top. Fast and Furious 5 review <laughs> that I tanked. And of course, he's Forbes 30 under 30, a.k.a. the second best baby blues in San Francisco, a.k.a. the New York Times quoted at Tim Gettys. I still have that New York Times on my kitchen sink area thing. My quote is Your like bulletin that board or... Like just next no, to your it's, 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 it's next to my curry. It's just <laughs> the laying counter. on the thing. The it's counter. on the counter. Thank oh, you. Okay. That's mm -hmm. what the word is. That's what the word is. There's a little area uh, on our counter. It's a long counter. It takes up like the whole length of the wall. And in the corner, we have a bunch of plants. And we call it Plant Island. Mm -hmm. So my like my quoted New York Times is next to Plant Island. Does it have like newspaper archipelago or anything? Has it got, got a name? Not or? yet. Because okay. so far, I've only been quoted once. Sure. Probably gonna be the oh, last time too. Oh, this is like a. Are you, anytime you get quoted, you're gonna put it there. Exactly. That's pretty cool. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Mm. For Forbes 30 or 30, they put you in Forbes magazine, or is that not a thing? I was in the magazine. Yeah, yeah it was really so. hard to get. Yeah. Just, a, we, just my didn't name. We print, out, we print out the cover for Patreon. Right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Didn't you send me? You were like, Nick, I need you to go to every magazine shop in San Francisco mm -hmm. and find this. And I was like, that is what I was bored to do. Yeah. Go to analog magazine. Shops it was impossible find to find, man. Couldn't find it. You'd be blown away at how hard it is to get both Forbes magazine and even more New York Times. It was. So hard to get. I eventually did. But the thing about newspapers, they only exist for one day. So if you don't get them that day, you ain't getting that hard shit. To find and there's ways to do it, I'm sure, whatever the fuck. But I was trying to do it. Me and G spent hours going to so many places in San Francisco for the New York Times. You'd think that would be in so many places. Yeah. Where'd I end up getting it? A Starbucks. Really? Mm. Yeah. What Starbucks? A random ass bit. Starbucks. Like, not one that I'd normally go to, mm. but like, we were just calling around. And like, somebody on Reddit was like, oh, this is a place that you can get New York Times. And it was like, uh, a Starbucks just like in the mission, like, randomly. So, wild. Do they still know. have those like newspaper dispenser things? They do. Mm -hmm. they, do they do, but like, some of them aren't in use. Some of them are just mm -hmm. local. I went through the same thing when Jen and I were in the Wall Street Journal for chicken wings on Valentine's Day. Went to the corner store. He's like, I haven't sold newspapers in years. Fuck. Went to Starbucks, like we don't have, we don't sell newspapers here. Yeah, Fuck. went around and finally Kevin got it for me. Where do you guys come down on the actual like subscription to Apple News? Do you do this? No, no. I started doing it again. I got so what does this do exactly? I got the free subscription with when I got when I finally upgraded my iPhone after 17 years. Yeah, mm -hmm. remember how I had that little tiny iPhone that was like a Zoolander phone? Right. And Joey made fun of me. Mm -hmm. Um, I bought Joey's this. The biggest you in the still office. have a small phone. My phone's huge. Is it? Yeah, it's the biggest phone you can get. Uh, James, show me your phone. Twinsies, twinsies. See, look at that. Damn, he big, did it. Big. Um, Just default background. <laughs> you know what I mean? What like, fucking background yeah. do you have? 
Uh, it's my Ooh, son and me as Ghostbusters. I got like, my family. It was me. I forget how to, how do you switch them or can I not do it? Because I'm just tap on it. Just tap on it. Yeah. Now Greg has a small phone. Just one tap. I'm not saying. I'm not calling his phone. See, but it's pretty. Oh, it's been there. Superman. Oh, ben is oh, cut out. Well, you have a you have a child. Ben, okay. ben with the Who farmers market. Me I don't and have Ben dressed. If I had Andy, thing. and that's true, you do have an Andy. Yeah, but he won't let me take pictures of him like this. Jim, <laughs> I, want him in, I want him in overalls, <laughs> like carrying cabbage, like he's a farmer, and he just won't do it for me. What do you have, Joe? Uh, mine is a a picture of. I'm not gonna a lie. wallpaper in a bathroom that's different kinds of uh, champagne labels cool. that I thought was really cool at a champagne bar. Did you take a picture of it? Yeah, and wow. I just put it as my background. Ain't Adams over here, you know? I like the freaking... What do you I have? Like, I have the dogs, but like, I have it set moves. so that it's... Uh, you just tap on it, and it, it changes the picture of them. Oh. A random assortment. Anytime I take new pictures of Booster Toretto, they pop up. No, Gia? Uh, she shows up in some of them sometimes, but yeah, you can see that. <laughs> just as an accessory to the dogs. Yeah. Just a hand. <laughs> she doesn't yeah, like it. She's dog. a lot pickier about like she doesn't like the, the random pictures. She's a lot up. pickier than the dogs. <laughs> uh huh. Uh-huh. It's weird. I I as someone who's a recipient of Gia as an accessory to dog pictures from yeah. you, I get why she's picky about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. You you get all of the like you're one of the only people that get the you get to see G however the hell the mm-hmm. picture was taken. You know what I mean? The raw feed. Oh, yeah. I like the environmental storytelling yeah. of what you guys are doing. A lot of times I'll, for, I'll have when I post a picture of Moose I'll have to crop in, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And um you just get to see the uncropped version. You get to see everything that's going on. I love it. Do whenever I take a picture of Danielle, it's like a burn after reading moment. She's like, "You're gonna delete that picture, right?" And mm-hmm. then she'll go into my phone and delete it, and then perma delete it. Yesterday, she was like, "Hey, do you have that picture of me in that dress still that I was I tried on?" I was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "I can't find it." She goes, oh, it's in your deleted files. <laughs> I'd go in, send it to her, and then I got another text. that was like, "Now delete please it. delete, just burn your fucking phone." <laughs> I was like, "Shit, I guess I have to get a new one." To answer, it. long story short. I got the subscription for Apple News. It, le- it just lets you read whatever news story is now on your Apple News feed. So for like 12 bucks a month, you just read all everything that's there, which is actually pretty cool. New York Times, Wall Street Journal, all, got that, stuff. It. Like all that stuff. And prior to that, you'd get like one story and then it would be like, hey, you have to subscribe to this if you want to actually read real news. So instead, I found myself endlessly scrolling through Instagram reels, yeah. which was starting to fucking kill my brain. Like... I was up to one o'clock in the morning. I'm like, Watching I am not even looking for assholes. anything. I was like, asshole cat, asshole cat. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting served so many asshole cats. You, you know click on one, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, see what I did is move Kindle. I, I took Twitter out and moved Kindle down there. Oh. Smart. So that I could so go there and read reading? a book or two. Huh? Are you reading? What are you reading? Uh, well, I did it when I got Becky Lynch's book at like the end of the year, begin- oh, last cool. year, beginning of this year. And then uh, I haven't restocked anything in there, honestly. If I'm being true, I keep going back over there. I Put wanted to read that whale fall. I, yep, I wanted oh, to do whale yes. fall, but it's like I'm 17 people back before yeah. I get it or whatever. How many <laughs> do you only have one library card, or have you started getting the Thanos gauntlet? No, I, I only have one library card. I didn't okay. know that I could go and start being like, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm Greg there's from a lot of, San Carlos. <laughs> there's a lot of California ones that, as long as you're a California resident, mm. you can get a card. That's why I have like. San Francisco, LA. I think I have a Sacramento one for my parents' address that I used. And I think I have like a Alameda. Maybe I have a Marin one. You and see, then it just like, uh, it's whatever shortest one, would, the shortest list. Sure. It'll put you on. That's super smart. Oh, so it's like a system inside of a system? Yeah, you can have multiple in your Libby account. Uh, and I should look at like, You should teach me some of these. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, yeah, the other thing I did is I downloaded the uh, New York Times game app. Mm. Oh, like I I, when that. Wordle was independent, I was big on Wordle, right? And then when it got all, oh, it's jumping over and stuff, it was like, all right, see you later. And I kind of, not because I was being weird about it, but just because, oh, we don't know what's happening. Either. And so I never came back to it. And then at Easter, Lucy was over there playing. And I was like, oh, She's that's the actually the only one I'm friends with. It's a great idea. Times. And I went back in and I've been doing that every day again, you know? Do you do so the mini? Like, no, I've done It's one of those, how much time do I have between mm-hmm. Ben activities or whatever I'm about to do or blah, blah, blah. So I make Wordle the point. You know what I mean? I like that one. I like connections. connections Are you familiar with connections? Fun. No, I've seen like, <laughs> heard people talk about it, but I don't know what mini is either. I've it's got just this, the mini crossword. Uh, yeah, mm. mini crossword. I've got this in the hopper for future games cast topics down okay. the road. Okay. But yeah, the, the connections is, I'm going to get this wrong, right? So it's 24 words that you 16? group. 16? Is it 16? It's four by four. Four it? by four. Yeah, you're right, you're right. So you have 16 words put up on a screen and you have to figure out the grouping of four by four. And so it's like flavors of oh, ice cream, so you have, you have types of cards or whatever. Got yeah, you, 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 you're you writing the crossword. crossword on you. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly, exactly. I love those many crossword puzzles. I get yeah. them Apple News now. They got the big, the big one and the small one. And there's gotcha. nothing that makes me feel smarter. Like when I finish one of those things in like under a minute, 
I'm like, I'm a fucking super genius. See, and that's how I feel with Sudoku. Mm. But the problem is that, like, I got spoiled by Sudoku. I think it was, she was Carol Voldemort Sudoku on the old 3DS that I reviewed back at uh, IGN when you could take notes oh, in yeah. the margins the and do it. Oh, yeah, So now when I'm doing New York Times one, I'm like, oh, I got to fucking... Does it not give you the, like, little invisible numbers? I don't know. I don't, I, didn't, I don't know how to do it. That's ex Wait, expert level play. There's a difference between Sudoku and Sudoku? No, I just no. say them weird because I'm weirdo. Oh, okay. I thought there was. I thought someone <laughs> got, created an off-brand Sudoku and called them Sudoku. Sudoku. Kind of like fucking Loodle. <laughs> how amazing would that be? It's, like, it's, it's just Sudoku, but like Count Dooku themed. <laughs> well, just a little limper than it should be. a little be. dumb. It was like, a little bit. Like, what the fuck is with that hilt? We're burning daylight, ladies and gentlemen. Because okay. oh, if you didn't know, today's Kind of Funny podcast is all about Tim Gettys, oh, but we'll yes, get to that yes. in one second. <laughs> oh, uh, for now, I'll tell you that, of course, this is the Kind of Funny Podcast. Each and every week, four, sometimes five. Best friends gather on this table, each coming to talk to each other about whatever it is they want to talk about. If you want to talk to us, of course, the best way is to have a Kind of Funny membership. With your Kind of Funny membership, you could be watching live and talking to us, just like Cooper is, who says, up, up, up. He's using arrows and stuff. I don't know. Madeline Stanley says, time for Tim? See, that's how you could talk to us. In the live chat, watching live. Of course, you'd also get each and every piece of content from Kind of Funny ad free. Uh, you can watch all the podcasts in the afternoon lives. We record them. And of course, you'd get the multimedia daily experience known as Greg Way. Ugh. B. Blanco says, How's the cough? Oh, you'll find out. Trust me, you'll hear from the cough a few times in this show. <laughs> there ain't no stopping the cough. A month plus, they say it'll be here. Great. What was the, what was, what was the final prognosis on that? Oh, uh, here's some money for a copay. Thanks. That was it? You got a cough? <laughs> Hey, yeah. yeah, of course it was. They didn't tell you it was like whooping cough or something? No, I mean, well, that was the whole thing. He listened to me, did the thing. All right, here's two types of cough medicine and an antibiotic for your sinus infection. See you later. Man, I wouldn't have at? gone to the doctor if it wasn't for the sinus infection. Fair. That was when things got real. But like I got kicked by a horse in the face. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that yeah. sucks. Yeah. I like that Nick wanted you to have a whooping cough. <laughs> well, I got whooping cough one time. <laughs> at least that's what a doctor said it might be. I was like, really? Might be. And I forget who it was, but I think one of my brother's friends was like, leave it to Nick. To get a fucking disease of your. Remember How did that, that same friend you know? feel when you came down with shingles? I mean, again, <laughs> shingles. People get shingles. <laughs> people get shingles. People get it. Okay. But what no, types I, of people get shingles? Old people, usually. usually mm -hmm. Lots of old people. Yeah. Usually, my doctor was like, hmm, don't see a lot of people sub 70 with, with, <laughs> with shingles. But I got the vaccine now, so I'm good for 10 years. <laughs> You're fucking rolling. You're fine. Don't worry awesome, about dude. it. I'm badass. Uh, of course, if you have no bucks to toss our way for the membership, no big deal. You can get a new Kind of Funny podcast each and every week on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny and podcast services around the globe housekeeping for you our deadpool wolverine trailer reactions are live right now youtube.com slash kind of funny and of course mm, the trailer banger screencast podcast feed? no just just video just video trailer. okay sorry i apologize for that everybody youtube.com slash kind of funny come watch me and tim nerd out about it have a great time uh if you love what we do please support us with that kind of funny membership we couldn't do it without you of course thank you to our patreon producers who are supporting us with that membership james hastings casey andrew Kieran Hovisapian, Carl Jacobs, Kishan Patel, Karen Lindener, and of course, Nathan Lamoth. Today, we are brought to you by the Kind of Funny membership. But Timothy Robert Geddes. I'm terrified. Like, how do we have this whole podcast we've had so far about them going too far and all this? And then all of a sudden, oh, we're talking about Tim today. And I don't know what this I is going to be. I it am, could be literally anything. Yeah. I'm on the opposite side of this rainbow. Yeah. I'm so excited right now. You're so happy it's not you. I I'm happy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it. going to be more tame than you're used to. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Don't worry about it. Keep your pants on. It feels like on. a setup. It's not. Okay. This is probably you, my most structured topic in quite some time. Oh. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> Blow the dust off Game Over Greggy Show topics. All right. I've written mine down. Okay. Whoa. I need Tim Gettys mm -hmm. to be a Bluey fan. Mm. Oh. We are in. We have had this. So good moment right now as a bluey fandom tim yeah and i don't know how much you've looked into it or heard about it or whatever but we have just had the hypest shit of all time and it's like crazy that it happened right at wrestlemania right mm -hmm. right around the same time you and i were talking about the climax of wrestlemania oh, yeah. where we are going with this and all this crazy stuff and it's the best time to be a wrestling fan and the phrase which is overused right and we used it for wrestlemania mm -hmm. but is apt here is that this was bluey's end game moment oh yeah but the thing about it being an end game moment is that they did the opposite of end game or wwe 
where they never showed their hand. So you didn't realize you were about to get Endgame until you're watching it going like, oh my God. So if you're, not, I've done, Greg waited about it a few times on the different yeah. things and no spoilers for Bluey overall, whatever. <coughs> but if you're unfamiliar, Bluey, of course, no is a children's cartoon too. show. <laughs> Why do you care? I, I, what? Oh, you're, you're dozing off already? That no, no, no. I said no, blue, no Bluey spoilers for... <laughs> Oh no! For real, this is like legitimately a huge thing for people. I, I understand you. you I, don't I understand have a this child, is like a, so I imagine it's not uh, a huge thing. The for people Vader thing, where you guys did that Vader Pump episode, and people were like, "I have no idea what's happening." Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that, okay. but this is going to be uh, spoiler free because I do think, and the case I am making is that you can be a Bluey fan and you can watch Bluey, and it is not what you think, right? So, of course, Bluey is a cartoon. We are following the healer family. They are blue healers. Uh, they are living in Australia, right? They are a family. It's if you've never seen anything about it, they are very much people, but they're dogs. You know what I mean? Like they have jobs, they have a house, they drive cars, all that shit. <laughs> I'm trying to. I, I, how how much you can boil yeah, that? Yeah. Well, for me, it's a, such an interesting. Do they have they go to dogs the, uh, as pets? They don't have dogs as pets. Okay. No, no, no. Do they have Where cats? Do they keep as pets? No. Okay. So the idea that's crazy. God, it, it, to, you know, when I start explaining this to all of you and trying to get you to it, is that for me, it's such a Paw Patrol moment where Wait, stick with the same me. Thing? <laughs> Sticking. No. I just watched an obscene amount of Paw Patrol last weekend, so no, I understand. Okay. So and that was me, what was it? <coughs> Seven years ago when I went and visited Poe and Jack was all about Paw Patrol. And he had a Paw Patrol birthday stuff up and he had all and it was like it was one of those like I had never heard of Paw Patrol, but upon leaving that house, I saw Paw Patrol everywhere. You and taught I, me about Paw Patrol. Right. And it was that thing trip. of like, oh my God, this is such a big thing. But Paw Patrol is a children's cartoon. Mm -hmm. Bluey, of course, is the same thing. As I tell you about it today, and we talk about it today, if you are watching the visual podcast, you will see Bluey everywhere as soon as you go to a Target or anything else. But what I need to drive home is that Bluey isn't a kid's show. It is and it isn't. Bluey is a kid's show, but it also is an adult show. And so many people have pushed that it's a parent show, which, of course, is 100% true. Because what you're doing in every episode is Bluey and her sister Bingo are having whatever adventure they're having, playing makeup games. Can, can I get the picture? Can we get a breakdown I'd like of the family? Bingo looks like, please. Sure. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Oh, oh wow. he, now, now you're really no, into it. Now you're getting really deep okay. into it here. But if you want to go to the center there, you have Ch Chili and Bandit. They're the parents. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Bluey and Bingo sisters. They're right there. Okay. Blue, so, okay. blue one. Yeah. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> You have them, the two little ones, always having something going on, always playing and having their little adventures, their mm -hmm. make-believe games. Then you have Bandit and Chili as the parents, right, who are great parents, but fallible. They make mistakes, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, all these different things. And every episode, I would definitely say starting with season two. Season one, probably more kitty than not. But every episode of season two really is the story of whatever Bluey's going through, but then also the parental themes that of what they're going through and dealing with as well. And, and like how real are we getting with this this parental themes? hundred percent super real. Uh, yeah. and I, these are I, I'm not, again not spoiling plot points or when we get to talking about the big episodes that have just happened recently, right? The sign was a huge episode that just happened. Literally twenty eight minutes. A bluey episode is usually eight minutes. That's it. Uh, when you're talking about how real are we doing? I mean, Trixie and Bandit have something going on on the side. They're married. Oh no, they're not like cheating on each other. Well, there is a there is a theory that they might be swingers, but wow, we can get into that another time. There's like a really serious episode with Serpentine. like one of the ants. Yeah, and miscarriages all are talked about. Yeah. Wow, uh, in, in ability to conceive. You know what I mean? Like they they address that head on and stuff like that. There's the you know how close to BoJack Horseman is this show? I don't watch BoJack. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Just. It sounds like when I started watching Bojack, I was like, oh, this is one of those like top level fun, but sort of irreverent shows. And then as the show continues, it gets deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole of exploring like depression and alcoholism and like abuse and all these things till, the, till you come out the other end. You're like, holy shit, that was that show changed me. Sure. Are we like that? Yeah, I would say so for wow, sure. Because okay. I think, again, what Bluey's great at is <clears throat> giving your child something to watch and be entertained by but giving you as a parent a top level watch. But I also want to say that as long as you've been a child in a parent child dynamic, you can watch this and it's so great at plucking in and pulling out your own memories and feelings and touchstones. You know what I mean? Of not necessarily what you did as a child, but here's the theme and here's how you felt about your mom or your dad or whatever kind of thing. Right. And so to your point of like, 
the BoJack Horseman, all that stuff, uh, to go into it of talking about loss, talking about loss of innocence, talking about like, you know, just being distracted. Like, I I want you to watch an episode while we're live, Tim. Not wow. live react. I want you to put on the headphones. Okay. I want you to put it. I went through and I'll let the audience know. I narrowed it down to three episodes I thought I want Tim to see, right? I love this. And it was either going to be Stickbird, Onesies, or Sleepy Time. I'm going with Sleepy Time. Naturally. And my thought here with it is it's been picked for several reasons as I wrote down. Music, artistic design, and subject matter, right? <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> uh-huh. Where... I obviously think the sign, the big one they just did, is a masterpiece. And again, their end I game. saw that. You saw that? I saw the clip on Twitter. Oh, the like very a, end? A three-minute clip that I watched. With the uh, vocals over it or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, That's what okay. I saw. Great. That's all I've ever seen of Blue. No, I saw that, and then you sent me one clip one time of them on a seesaw. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Pomeranians are a strong but hardy breed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that was still, I would even go back to when I very much thought that was... A, it's a kid's show. Okay. You know what I mean? And that's the, what has been interesting about it, where, again, eight minutes, like 50 episodes a season. Like, they do, they oh, go crazy wow. with this shit, right? And I'm paraphrasing them, you know, whatever. But, so I don't know if it's worth, I, I don't know if I would ever tell you season one, go, but I would definitely say start season two, or like, let me make a list and go from the, and it's like, cool. if you wanted to go back and do it, because again, like, the reason I'm saying this to you, because Joey, I know you love the, touchy feely video games just like me you love to cry you love to feel <coughs> that's here for you too but i also think that it's like this is such a complete package for tim in terms it. of music performance and then more than anything world building because again like Blue. let's go further back <laughs> than world. for tim truly let's go further back than world building right <coughs> and talk about the meta of it where again this is an event when Bluey releases new episodes, right? And usually it's historically, hey, first half of the season's coming out here. Hey, the first half is coming out here. Or second half's coming out here. And we all get excited. We all watch them on Disney Plus. Have a great time. This has been the recent weird one of, hey, second half of season three already dropped, but we're giving you two new episodes. You're getting uh, Ghost Basket, didn't need it, and The Sign. And we're like, awesome. And it's like, they're like, cool. Ghost Basket is eight minutes. The Sign is 28 minutes. We're all like, what the fuck? Like, why? Okay, cool. That's weird. You know, blah, blah. Yeah. And then I think I, I did this a Greg way, but I was sick since it's all happened, I think. The sign drops. So excited. Blah, blah, blah. Sit down. Watch it with Ben. And again, Ben likes Bluey, but he's a ch- two and a half year old. He's not. He likes Keepy Uppy, which is when they knock the balloon up in the air and run around. <laughs> Who doesn't? And then they have a robot vacuum in an episode. He loves that. You know what I mean? So like... So Other than that, he wants to watch kids playing with monster trucks. So I'm like, Ben, there's a new episode of Bluey. Let's go. And he, he was nice enough to, you know, all right, dad, whatever. We watch it. It's a traditional, this is a ghost basket. Traditional, hey, it's a Bluey episode. Again, parents are very active in it. So they're playing pretend with Bluey and Bingo. It's another episode of the grannies where Bluey and Bingo dress up like grandmothers and they're very annoying and they fart and everybody loves the grannies. Classic. <laughs> My grandma used to fart. Exactly. I remember so when she go over to the room. room remember? Remember? She just yeah, walked yeah. from the room and let one go. And so everything's great, 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 great. And then the final shot is this huge reveal to the point that like, and it's a huge reveal. And then it's smash cut to credits and it's no music. Usually the, the music it plays into 100%. <laughs> Damn, and it's I'm a thing where it's like my Disney Plus. You go into TikTok and all my creators are making content about this. Blah, blah, blah. It's like and like when Jen when Jen was making breakfast through the entire eight minutes and she walked in the room like, "Do you want to know what just happened?" She's like, "No, I want to watch." I'm like, "When do you think Ben's gonna let you watch this episode again?" She's like, "Just tell me." Told her later that night. We or maybe the next, you know, that night I think we watched it alone. She teared up at the end. Like it's that powerful of what the fuck. And so then you get to the 28 minute one. It's this gigantic emotional experience, this end game. And again, through the three seasons, and I'm rough here, but like the 150 episodes ish they've done or whatever they are, right? Of then these callbacks to this. Okay, well, Bingo and her friend on the water slide episode helped this caterpillar get across mm. and not get crushed. And it became a butterfly. And that butterfly is back in this episode and is important. It's like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? To then get to a very beautiful ending that you saw. And then, again, the meta of this. That happens. 
everyone is euphoric of like, what an amazing thing. We didn't even know we were on this ride and it's over, blah, blah. Then they were like, also, we're giving you an extra episode for fun. Congratulations. I got an email this morning that was like, hey, new episode of Blue. And I was like, what the fuck? I thought this was the end. And literally called surprise, right? And th- yeah, that's been the big thing about it where it's like, is this the finale or the series finale? And yeah, yeah, it's not. They've said there's more, whatever. But then you get the surprise episode. And so then you're waiting for the surprise of like, all right, well, you just did this episode. Mm-hmm. You're calling this one surprise. Sure, surprise that it's there. They're playing surprise. But what do you got up your sleeve here? And this one also has an ending that is like, freeze frame to hell like a million different TikToks and arguments what? in the audience now of what does it mean and who new is rock that? stars doing breakdown videos 100 mm-hmm. <laughs> that's awesome and so like i'm not coming to you and saying like i think you'll love every episode yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, i think that you will appreciate it more than anybody i love it because i already <clears throat> do like everything i've seen of this show i'm like i get it i appreciate it i love that kid shows are trying to be more than just yeah. kid shows or whatever and i i appreciate kid shows for what they are as well and as somebody that grew up with a kid show x-men the animated series and is now watching x-men 97 a show that grew up i am just so in love with that thing but i love that there could be some, x-men 97 though definitively not for kids like yeah, yeah it is scary as hell and there's some like real shit that they deal with so i like that there's kid stuff being made for them <laughs> kids and for people like greg and for people like me somewhere in between this is eight minutes. You'll be offline. No big deal. Joey and I can carry the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all sunk. T- crank it up. Full screen it. He's watching Sleepy Time for the first time. I don't and think again, I know this one off the top of my head. It's one of their more popular. Maybe in, I would then if I. And even too, yeah. So I, what is going on? Do you? How much do you know about Bluey? Wait, Every no, time. Sorry, yeah. really quick. Do you want me to have him there so that people can see him reacting to things? Or I would think so. I don't know how incredibly exciting he'll be the entire time, but I wouldn't mind <laughs> that. Right. And then second, you could pip him if you want. I can what? Picture and picture. picture. And picture. Oh, okay. Uh, and then the second question I have for you, the Disney, uh, did they bring back the two episodes that they removed or? No. And if memory serves right, they've only removed one. Yeah, you're right. And I they've mean, edited a couple other okay. ones. Hmm. Yeah. For Americans. Because oh. we're very particular. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, My only exposure to Bluey is that every time I go to the Drake's house, which is like fairly frequently. Yeah. That's all Charlie has on, except for now. This time it was a lot of Paw Patrol. Got mm. really, really into Sky. Yeah, I mean, I mean Ben Sky? loves Sky too. Yeah, yeah. Sky, Rubble, Chase. Yeah, Marshall. this time watch one where uh, there were some people underwater stuck in a little, <laughs> what looked like a submersible. Yeah, and then we had to like blow them out of the water. They were trying. There were some rich fucks trying to go see the Titanic. <laughs> no, they were setting. Everest some was creature. like, "You get what you deserve. <laughs> I'm not going down there to help you." <laughs> oh, yeah, so I've seen. I've watched so much Bluey, but like. Who knows if they were cohesive episodes? Like, I don't know the storylines, but I've appreciated a lot of the episodes I have watched. Every yeah, I, time I'm always like, Charlie should watch Bluey, and then it's like, no, we gotta finish watching Wish. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I just gotta stop real quick. First off, <clears throat> the, this theme song situation with the little dances, I'm sure that families across the globe are doing the dance every goddamn day. Yeah. I also love the little title card of the episode, like, this episode, like, I thought they were about to be like, this episode's brought to you by Factor. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do every time the thing comes around, mm-hmm. for because it's and then they go mom dad anyways and so like when we do it though ben is mom <laughs> dad and then we go cold beans for bingo oh, and then we, we do ben for benny it's a good it's a whole cute. production um yeah no paw patrol is like you know fine it's very much designed oh, yeah. for that ben's a very bizarre child with paw patrol in the way that he loves them Mm-hmm. Has the toys, mm-hmm. some of them, has the books, loves to read the books at night. Okay. But doesn't, isn't drawn to watch the show. <laughs> what he does is he, if That's he wants so to watch funny. Paw Patrol, we usually end up on YouTube and there's a, I might be misattributing, I think it's Genevieve's Playhouse. And it's this guy, this dad playing with toys and making, and there's like effects <laughs> and sound. It's not yeah. like, it's not just like da da da, but it is da da da. <laughs> but it's funny that he doesn't want the show. Exactly. From. He'd rather see the toys go do something. I don't know what his problem is. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now, and then I did a great way about this today too. Like now it's Hot Wheels, man. Oh. Like it's been Hot Wheels for a while, but we are an obscene number of Hot Wheels in the house. Oh, that's but exciting. then it goes from the toys, obviously the tracks to watching Hot Wheels. Let's race on Netflix. Oh, is that mm. a show? Yeah. It's a new one. Josh Keaton, Spider-Man's in that one. Fun. And it's also another like 
great show. Like, it's not meant for adults, but I mean, yeah. it's not garbage TV either, which I'm very much used to and seeing all the time, especially some of the YouTube shit he wants to watch. And then on top of that, Hot Wheels uh, Unleash 2, the video oh, game. Oh, yeah. Like, he, I showed that to him. It was over. And he, and like, if they, you can turn on all the assists on oh, it and nice. give him the controller. So then it's just. Oh, is that why he had the control? Yeah. I just have game. to hit gas and then he'll point <laughs> it left to right and it'll aim, it'll drift assist Hell and do yeah. everything for him. It's really nice. So, yeah. He's obsessed with that. What a time to I be a kid. That. I know. Right? I'm, I'm, it is a great time. And I'm going to support him through no matter what, of course. Sure. Mm-hmm. But it's like the Hot Wheels are exciting and it's like, I'm excited to see where he goes next. Because again, yeah. Hot Wheels were never my thing. Sure. I had Hot Wheels, but I, I don't I didn't think have... Hot Wheels I don't think Hot Wheels are anyone's thing per se. I don't know. Like yeah, I think everyone, every kid goes through the Hot Wheels like moment in their time and then they move on to something else. Like how many diehard adults do you know that are like, dude, I'm still fucking into Hot Wheels? Yeah. I'm sure there are there. I'm, I'm sure there are. Doesn't you, it just it, evolve? Fast and Furious. Well, yeah. I think it evolves to when you get a car or you go, Maybe I'll be a car guy now, or you're fast mm-hmm. and furious. You know what I mean? Like I feel like that obsession is it either sticks with you like all so many other obsessions, or you just move on to whatever the next thing was. Because my brother and I had the Hot Wheels tracks. Oh, yeah. You know, that we go around. Whip each other. Yeah, it was cool. But then it was like, it was one, it became one of those things where it was like Hot Wheels were tight, but you know what's even tighter? Micro machines. Yeah. And man, when I got the micro machines, I was like, dude, this is so cool. The power in the palm of your hand. Joey. Yeah. I did like micro, micro machines. machines. I like micro I had a Lamborghini. I had the Tom Selleck uh, Ferrari, which I always thought was just the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. It was badass. Yeah. I would, I, if I. It was also, how much do we have to give to the fast talking micro machines guy? Oh, that guy was rad. Right. What a, what a great spokesperson mm-hmm. this guy was. Mm-hmm. Do you remember this guy? I have no context for micro machines. Micro machines were little tiny cars, if you hadn't gathered that already. Mm-hmm. Basically, they were micro. Were, Machines. Oh, thank you. This big, but their marketing ploy was they had the, the fastest talker on, on the planet mm-hmm. because and he would just speed through all the dialogue and the commercials. And he was a guy, he was like a known celebrity guy, right? Yeah. Maybe he, he got famous for the micro machines thing. Uh, somewhere in between, yeah. Who the hell knows? But that became a gimmick that just fucking soared and micro machines became the thing. And I had like boxes of all these cars. Mm. They were hella cheap too. It was like your parent, your mom was like, great, yeah. Dude, like 30 micro machines for one Hot Wheels. This is the same fucking thing with Hot Wheels now, though. Where again, the brilliance of Hot Wheels that you go to Target, you go to the Safeway, they're two bucks. Yeah. Now, granted, there's fancier ones that will change colors and do whatever. Oh, I bought a lot of them. I bought a bunch for the D and D thing, and I sat in that fucking Hot Wheels <laughs> aisle for 30 minutes, being yeah. like, "What am I gonna get?" These are rad. I yeah. looked at all of them. They have classic ones, like cop, old school cop car ones, bandit one, all this cool shit. Man. Yeah. yeah, all yeah, this yeah. cool shit. Plus Is, all the licensed stuff, I assume. Oh yeah. Oh man, they have Fast and Furious themed Hot Wheels. Of course, they have to. Mm-hmm. Nothing better than a Vin Diesel, you know, stamp of approval on your Hot Wheels. <laughs> yeah, again, because of for. Ben, I know this, but Hot Wheels Unleashed 2 just did Fast and Furious DLC tie-in, mm-hmm. which on top of putting more of the Fast and Furious cars in, because I think they were already some from the movies, now you drive around the Toretto backyard. Oh. And so like Dom's, oh, that's cool. Dom's rides there and you go that's through the so barbecue cool. thing. That's you go really onto fun, the actually. That's actually table, really you're fun. jumping off shit. You go into the garage itself. You're like freaking out and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, he, I don't think, I mean, I don't know. Maybe he'll stick with it forever, but my guess would be he'll move on from Hot Wheels in about a year or two. Uh, up to who knows what next. Yeah. It'd be we'll fun see. to take predictions. Like, do like one of those charts. Like, okay, I got I got him getting into G.I. Joe's in like six months from yeah, now or whatever yeah, and see which yeah, one of us yeah, can yeah, actually yeah. predict it. Yeah. Because who knows, right? Kids are just like, they just try things, right? And they're like, I don't like this, I like this. There's no rhyme or reason to it, right? Yeah. What's well, funny, he'll run hot and cold on the, where it's like. Is he still into trains? Is it like the trains? He likes, oh, we just went to train town this weekend again. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Gotta go to train town. Jen did the, Jen did the classic, classic, what do you want to do today, Ben? Train town? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, we'll go to train town, buddy. Like, Let's you know go. What? I accept. Do you guys have like town. a membership to train? I like no. drive past it all the time to go to my uncle's house, but I've never actually been. So ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know or have never heard about Sonoma train town before, mm-hmm. uh, up in Sonoma here in California uh, is a thing called train town, which I know you just gathered. And basically imagine, Tim described it as his first Disneyland. Mm. It's not nearly that big, obviously. It's a very small local deal, but they have a train that kids can ride in there and parents can ride too, right? Uh, there you go. Uh, you look at it right there. Thanks oh, so much, Kevin. Cool. I think it's, four, it's uh, by... Uh, Oh, it's kind of like Happy Hollow. It's what, they uh, got not camels? square miles. Is alpacas, alpacas. Alpacas. Uh, but it's like four... The devil's what, what am I trying to say? I mean, it's not four miles of track, Holy but shit, it's four is... miles by scale of track or whatever. Oh, okay. This is four legit like a gift shop. This oh, is dude. a real place. Oh, yeah. I thought oh, it was yeah, like yeah. a dude with the train that you oh, take up no, there. Oh, no, this is a business, <laughs> brother. This is a business. And so you go up there, you ride the train, and then they got... The Ferris wheel, the carousel, little roller coaster, amusement rides. There's a petting zoo in the middle of all this stuff. Like, it's outrageous and it's insane. 
That's cool. Oh, TK421 cool. said in the live chat says, watch the parking lot at Train Town. Greg might run you down. That TK421 is uh, was identified in the past Train Town stories as being the fan that like Jen's like, I think this guy knows you. And I looked, <laughs> I was driving out trying to get out of the highway, and the guy's looking at me, and I was like, hey. And he was like, hey. And I was like, all right. And I was like, I think I tweeted or said something later of like, yeah. I don't know if that was a fan or just somebody I almost hit it with the car. He's like, no, I'm a fan. What did you think, Tim? Your first blue? That was hype as hell. That yeah. was so good. That was like Pixar short before the Pixar movie mm-hmm. type stuff, but like with the clearly established characters. I am very, very impressed with that. Such great moments. Some moments I was like, what are we doing here? Don't be letting your little bunny thing go. What yeah. you do? But yeah. you, know, you got to Got to grow up. Got to be a big girl. Oh, you know? they, they did that mm-hmm. very well. Quick question. Yeah. Why aren't the mom and dad sleeping together? Oh, they are. Okay. It's, it's just parenting parenting god yeah okay. exactly cool. exactly when i think what it is it when and i you just watched it i'm a rusty when chili gets up to take care of uh, uh, uh bingo bluey comes and steals her spot in bed so then chili goes and takes bluey's bed and then yeah. it's like the shifting around that was great and yeah the music and stuff was incredibly well done the animation was awesome yeah. shout out to bluey man they got the stuff and it's the thing is like and i think it's a great episode uh, of again i call it cinematography because i don't know the real words and you probably know them better than me but like it can be that flat 2D drawing you just saw, but then they do shit where it is like the cups there and the lights coming through and they see the sparkles of all mm. the pollen in the air or whatever. You're like, fuck. Yeah, so no, it's, it's good. Just looking at it, it, it reminds me a lot of the animated series. Remember when we switched mm. over from like 2D oh, yeah. to actually 3D? Yeah. So it has that, you can tell it's actually 3D animated, but they're doing 2, 3D, 2D for 3D. No, 3D for 2D rather. Super cool. Yeah, that was dope. Looks nice. Thank you for Looks sharing fun. that. That was honestly really, really cool. So I would also then suggest for you onesies. Okay. Mm-hmm. Give me, give me the episode. I'll, I'll definitely want to watch them. That was really good. I'll tell you what, Greg. Eight minutes is perfect. <clears throat> totally. Yeah. Well, I mean, of course, they stole that from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. No big deal. We like, are the Aqua first. Uh, I'll tell you what, Greg. I'll make you a pact right now. Yeah. When I'm done watching season seven and eight of Monk, mm-hmm. and then all of White Collar. <laughs> sure. I will. I will give Bluey a try. I don't know if it's your kind of show. <laughs> really? A little too, a little too wholesome, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't think I'm gonna there do is it? a great episode you know, where ban- stuff? there's a great episode where Bandit and Chili are hung over. And they're oh, trying. That they're, was super funny. They're like, you know, trying to get the kids to entertain themselves or whatever. Interesting. What does that say about us? You're wholesome. <laughs> he views you as wholesome. I'm a lost cause. I, no, it's. it's I don't it, think it's that he views me as wholesome. He just knows that I like to indulge in my feelings, <laughs> and mm. I like. I like to let things want me to feel things and then I like to feel the things that they want me to feel. Uh, I see. Yeah, I'm the saying? opposite. I like to punish my feelings. Yeah. Uh-huh. If exactly. my feelings try to come through the door, I like to fucking throw hands at yeah. it. That's yeah. That's fair enough. Mm-hmm. Like, I like, if something wants me to be sad, I want to be sad. If it wants me to be hype, I want to be hype. That makes you know? sense. That makes sense. Now, I, can I, I, I know there was a whole conversation that happened while I was in noise cancel Bluey World, which was great. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I want to take this uh, and t- go on a little bit of a tangent, Please. Greg. I know that everyone's entitled to their opinions on everything, right? Assholes, opinions, everyone has them, all that stuff. We get yeah, it. Assholes. We and give our thoughts on things like all the time. <laughs> and 99% of the time... The circle isn't unbroken. <laughs> I understand where we're coming from on our thoughts of like, oh, okay, like, I don't agree with Joey's thoughts on this movie, but I understand Joey does, and that's in line with Joey's takes on, on whatever yeah. this is, whatever. Right now, mm-hmm. I want you to know I'm running through everything I've tweeted in the last week and a half. Like, what did I no, say? Talk just, shit about the, 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 the thing that I can't <laughs> stop thinking about, Greg. So, and it, this is weeks ago at this point, but I've oh, thought no. about this <laughs> honestly probably dozens of times in the yeah. last couple of weeks, and it's because I'm constantly reminded I don't understand how a world exists, even understanding the caveats and un, like the. You're not a this guy, you're not a that guy. I don't understand how you could watch the first two episodes of X-Men 97 and not want to keep I don't watching the want show. To talk about this. No. I, I truly don't get it because it's like, and again, not everything, even if you like some things that are similar, you might not like the others, whatever. I just can't wrap my head around it because the show is so good. It's co- nerdy ass comic book stuff that is getting into the nerdy comic book stuff. I just, I'm surprised. And, and the fact that you are watching Invincible and liking Invincible as much as you do the show. Yeah. I just I don't I'm I'm baffled, Greg. Uh, again, for me, I think the real problem is nostalgia source material, where you know X Men ninety seven is very much during. Well, may, I shouldn't say that. I don't know. Uh, Kevin, give me a Google. Uh, when was Spider Man Clone Saga? Uh, remember, I was I I'm a DC fanboy to the point that like Spider Man was the only Marvel comic I was reading, and then they did the Clone Saga, and I was like, I'm out, and I went all DC, and it was very much. 94, uh, 94 to 
94 to 96. <coughs> so it's after that, right? So it is the idea that <clears throat> I wasn't reading X-Men. Uh, when it was on the air, I would watch it because it was either around Spider-Man. What, like, I, time, what, yeah. Fox. <laughs> Spider-Man was like 93, right? Nine, nine, wasn't it? It was, it was running concurrently. Right? Yeah, concurrently yeah. for the most part. Yeah. yeah. And so there was something about it where I just didn't, I didn't care about the X-Men at that time. And so I don't get an X-Men footing until the movies, really. And I was like, okay, great, blah, blah, blah. And so then for this to come back, it's just come back in a very complicated to- you know, part of my life. But that's the thing for me. Th- I guess that's what I, I'm most confused about because I know that. And that like it's not like I even know the 90s X-Men show that well. And like, yeah. I have read a ton of X-Men comics, but like not that many. And like I feel like my knowledge of X-Men is probably closer to yours than we might assume, you yeah. know what I mean? Overall, like it's definitely more based on the movies. And I mean, I guess maybe that's not true. I have read quite a bit and watched a lot of the other shows and stuff, but like this show is just, I feel this such a great job of not needing you to know anything that happened in the past because they're just like, fuck it. We're going all in comic book bullshit. Like the more, you know, it's, it just makes it better. But like they <laughs> they throw you in the deep end, but we're all in the deep end together. Yeah. You know, yeah, kind of like invincible. See, I get where Greg's coming from, though. Now, granted, I fucking love X Men '97. I actually think it's the single best piece of like Marvel content that's out there today. And I think everyone, if you haven't watched it, please give it a watch. It's amazing. But I do understand how if you don't have a touchstone to the original series, it wouldn't hit for you. I get, I get it. Having said that, Dee's watched a couple episodes. She's like, "This is actually really, really cool." But she is kind of lost because the way the show is formatted too is like the old school way it's formatted. Well, they'll just start a new storyline halfway through an episode. You're like. Hey, what's going on? But that's here? what I'm saying. And it's super confusing, but it's so beautiful and so intense and cool. You just kind of along for the ride. That's my point. It's like everyone's equally lost on this stuff. Like, yeah, but the but, hardcore comic readers might know what's going on, but it's like you're watching the stuff. And even if you watched every episode of the 90s show, like they'll just start new threads in this. And like they're just going full bore into like handling the like incredibly intricate, like comic book ass comic book stories. And they're all just happening. But fair. there's a, the, the layer of nuance to the quality of writing that everybody has it's just so good agreed and i love it but i will say there was i watched the animated series when it was on air as as they were airing i've watched it two times all the way through since and i was very lost with the the current storm storyline that just wrapped up i was like i don't know what's happening here i followed the top level version of it and it was still very impactful because the animation is beautiful and the again i forget the actress's name that that is the bo for storm amazing forge amazing um, but I was like, I don't understand what this thing is, <laughs> and I. But I know but what it's a metaphor for, and then we move on. It's cool. That's exactly my point, though. Like watching the old show had nothing to do with this. Like I feel like watching it, you might you feel like you're missing something. You're not. <laughs> like they didn't deal with that before. Well, no, no, Some no, of the things that you do, but like the storm stuff, entirely. That's all new for well, this. I feel it's like based on comics. The but. old show was the same way too, where they would do the same thing where they'd start a new storyline midway through. And as a kid, you're like. I am so lost. But the difference when you go the, back and watch that, you're like, oh no, I'm still lost. But the difference <laughs> with the old show is that a lot of that was because things were aired out of order and like the animation teams changed and all that stuff. And also the old show just wasn't that great. Yeah, I was gonna of, say they, they were they weren't great at seeding out storylines in the middle and then picking up the next episode. They would just be like a hard cut, and you'd be like, Oh, we're over in the Savage Land now, or whatever that's called. Like, how the hell did we get here? And may, maybe that was airing out of uh, out of order, but that all some of it yeah. just wasn't as like massaged as it should be. And I think they're I feel like they're embracing that for this new these new episodes. So I can understand why it's a little harder for people who weren't in it back in the day to like want to be in it. Having said that, you should all want to be in it because this show's so fucking rad. It's so good. You said episode five. I should just watch, right? You need to. Yeah, yeah. That's and, one you could just just jump into and. <coughs> I think well, again, cool and you. I'm not trying Actually, to stop your or yuck your yum on it, right? It's the idea, even I think for me, that it's not. Oh man, I didn't like the '97 one, so I'm lost here. As much as like I didn't like that one, so I think they're a bunch of dweebs. So I, even in this one, it's like I don't, I don't have, I don't, I don't feel connected to this. In episodes one and two, it wasn't like I was like, "This is a badass Wolverine." I'm gonna, th- I'm gonna throw this out there. He made you watch an episode on, a live on air. Yeah. Why don't you make him watch this episode right now? While we talk for the next half hour. I mean, I don't know if we have that much time. <laughs> we definitely don't, but <laughs> we, we can just make skip it work. ahead. Yeah, I mean, that's actually not too bad of a. Give me a second. Let me. I'm throwing it out there. I don't know how long we've been going for. I don't want to go super long on this yeah. either. But dude, we're at 54 minutes. Oh, we we're already at 54 minutes. Yeah, that's tough. It's 30 minutes. It's you can you can start in from a certain point if you want. I don't think the I don't think all the build up is 100 percent necessary to it. But episode five, remember it. Yeah, let me see. Oh, man. 
if it's 22 minutes, I say we make them watch it. And we'll talk about, <laughs> we'll talk about Hot Wheels right now. If it's 20, 30 minutes too far, 22, you're like, well. It's, eight minutes. Of it's arbitrary. Eight minutes. <laughs> you, know, you know how it is. I'm in. You go off a of feeling, dog. You go I off love a feeling. feeling. I'm at an all-time high for like media FOMO. Everybody's watching X-Men. Everybody's watching Invincible. Everybody's talking about Dune. All things that I truly don't care about, but I'm on the outside of the conversation like, oh. Let me in. I now, would like to be part of it. Have you seen Dune 1 and Dune 2? No, I don't. I don't really I care like about them. sci-fi. I don't really you know, care about space. Like, I, I like, like real space. Yeah, space I don't sucks. really like story space. You got to watch the whole thing. Yeah. 30 minutes? I feel like you and D are in the same boat. 36? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, is this the, the one thing that showed up in the one thing? Yeah, there's got a lot it. of stuff going on here. But it, um, Greg, you got to watch episode five and you got to let me know what you think about it all. And I, I just understand you're going to be lost. It's okay. There's a lot of story. There's like maybe five or six storylines going on. You might be aware of like two of them. Four yeah, of them, yeah, you're just going to be like, I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> all you need to know is the relationship between Rogue, Magneto, and Gambit. Okay. And like by that, I just mean Gambit really wants to be with Rogue. Rogue's in Gambit, but at the end of the day, she's into Daddy Magneto. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's all you need. For a very specific reason. Yeah. You can move metal. One yeah. way to say it. I don't like when Nick does the tongue thing. D was not is not into anything. You guys have very, very similar interests. Yeah. You, you and my wife. Um, as far as like what Bravo, you choose to consume. Bravo. Reading. All that stuff. <laughs> she is fa- absolutely fascinated by Dune. She's watched Dune 1 like five times. Huh. She just puts it on because it's just beautiful. Yeah. And it's a great cast of actors. You got you got all-star cast. I think you might you might like it. It is it is a bit slow, but if you're like in a place at night where you're like, oh, I'm calm it down a little bit, you should give it a watch. Because it's a beautiful series. Yeah. No? It's not really doing for me. Love the memes. That's about as much as I want to know about Dune. Fair enough. Kinda Funny turns nine years old today. We could have made it nine days without your support. That's why 2024 is all about doubling down on our shows and making it simpler than ever for you to get the most out of our content. Our revamped Kinda Funny membership is your one-stop shop for all our amazing content, which now includes on a weekly basis, the Kinda Funny podcast, In Review, the Kinda Funny games cast, PS I Love You XOXO, the Kinda Funny X cast, the brand new series Kinda Funny Game Showdown. Five episodes of Kinda Funny Games Daily and five exclusive Greg Way vlogs. And five days of streaming fun with me and the gang here in our newly revamped streaming space. It's gonna be filled with a ton of laughter and a whole lot of shenanigans. We'll see you there. That's more than 20 pieces of content a week from an 11 person independent team in San Francisco. That's a lot. And to get the most out of it, all we're asking for is $10. $10 gets you the Kind of Funny membership, and that entitles you to ad-free versions of the shows, the ability to watch the podcast live as we record them, and the exclusive access to my daily show, Greg Way. You can get your Kind of Funny membership on patreon.com slash kindoffunny or youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames. Yes, we are expanding our Kind of Funny membership offering to YouTube so people can take full advantage of the platform they prefer. If you want to go above and beyond the Kind of Funny membership to support us, we will still have higher Patreon tiers, albeit with some changed up perks. We just wanted to make the message as clear as possible that the $10 Kind of Funny membership is for the masses to get all the core content people love. Everything above that is very appreciated. The support means the world to us. You all are the best. But the $10 Kind of Funny membership available on both Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny and YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games is where we see the value of what we do. Kind of Funny is a dream come true and we wouldn't have it without you. We hope if you've ever enjoyed the content, you can support us for at least a month as we prepare for our biggest year ever. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. I will say after having watched uh, the new Wolverine Deadpool trailer, <coughs> I've just, I've always been firmly in the camp that X Men is the team for Marvel. And I know everyone will disagree with me, but come on, let's fucking go. It's all exciting about X Men right now. Real exciting times, it's man. It's very exciting times. I'm, I'm very excited. It looks, I mean, yeah, Nick, you didn't get to give your, your thoughts on it yet. Uh, Joey, have you watched the trailer? <laughs> yeah. What, you're, you're also not an X Men girly. No, not at all. So, what, what was your thoughts on the trailer? It's one of those movies that I know I'm going to see. So, like, I don't really. Like, I probably could have gone without seeing this trailer. I do think that the one that they put out before this was 
like wildly more interesting than this one. Oh, interesting. Oh, see, I'm yeah. I'm in the opposite camp. Yeah, me too. Camp. Oh, interesting. And I'll tell yeah. you why because this one gave me old man Logan like Logan vibes. Yeah, and I'm fucking all for that. Like I feel like they're they're going for like a let's just jump into this this horribly sort of dark vibe and let's mm -hmm. live in this world for a couple hours with the humor of you know Wade Wilson and that back and forth like buddy cop. But the second I saw, have you, you, this is a spoiler for the trailer. I don't know no, you're fine. The trailer's okay. Right yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know who the lady is, the, the villain of this, but she seems to have magnetic powers to mm -hmm. some degree. No, nothing. Telekinetic. No, we, but she's we thought, telekinetic. Okay. It's 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 a uh, Xavier type. Okay, well, that, hence the bald head. That makes sense. Um, she was a placenta in the sewers. Not a lie. Her name's really? Cassandra Nova. She's Charles Xavier's twin sister that died. Whoa. In, the in womb. utero? Whoa. Wow, Donnie. <laughs> um, her coming out of Ant-Man's skull? Mm -hmm. I'm like, this is going to be a good fucking movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this, I, that, I saw that pop up on Twitter. I was like, what the fuck is that from? And then I realized it was from the trailer. And then seeing that happen yeah. with the teeth still intact and the mask. It's crazy. And this I mean, is going to be fucking awesome. You said Old Man Logan earlier. Uh, uh, I know you were referencing Logan the movie. Which, no, I meant like, the comic book also. Uh, took inspiration from the comic, right. but in the Old Man Logan comic run, Hank Pym like dies and like as giant man like his mm -hmm. body is like essentially like a monument in the world that's cool and so that's what this is kind of uh taking that from which is so sick and it's in the void which is the world from loki like the amount that deadpool and wolverine's doing right right now i just can't believe that this is happening and like i i said this during our reaction but i can't believe that they're getting all this so right that i'm so upset that wolverine doesn't have his shoulder pads with his rip sleeves off. I'm not worried about that. And I'm like, that's my biggest problem with this, with this <laughs> yeah. trailer. And that's the fact it. that that's where we're at here is like, that's such a good that's sign. That's so sick, yeah. first off. Yeah, um, is. Second off, my cool. crazy is, oh, I don't want to spoil it in case it's actually in the movie. Forget about it. Um, I'm with you. Remember when we were like, hey, you know, the Flash could reset the DCEU and this could be the moment they want and make everything right. He did. Do you think, and boy, were we wrong. Did Do that you, come out this year? The Flash? No, yeah. last, last year. year. Okay. I mean, within the last 365 days. Yeah, I think it was a uh, go watch the newest episode of a uh, game show now. Me, James, and Elise. There was a question about that. Um, do we feel like Wolverine is this? Is like, this could be a fun bridge, like bridge I mean, movie? Yeah, yeah. Do you I think I, it's going to solve all of our problems. <laughs> I, I'm a broken record on this. Everybody knows my thoughts on the state of the MCU and everything. I think that this movie is going to be what it needs to be. People are going to take from it exactly what they want to take from it. If they go into this being like, that was the best Marvel thing ever. They're back, baby. They're going to get that. I think this movie's going to deliver. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think this movie's actually going to fix all the problems of the MCU. I don't mean that. I, I just mean, like, do you think it, there's an opportunity here to, like, revitalize interest in, I guess the X-Men never yes. really died. But, like, do you do we feel like we're going to walk out of this and be like, do you think you meet we are the so new ready for an X-Men movie? Do you think movie? you meet the MCU X-Men <clears throat> here? I don't think we meet the MCU X-Men here. Like, yeah. I don't even think close to that. Uh, and... I think out of everybody, I think you have the least chance of walking out loving the movie. Like, really? Parts of it, I think you might like, like laugh at and stuff, but like, I could see you being like a little lesser on it overall. And, but and why is that? I don't know. Just like, you're, I think this movie is going to try to do a lot of stuff, and I don't know if it's but the see, stuff that you normally like. From I, these I, if it's the crossover with the Loki universe and some of that stuff, and obviously I'm a little lukewarm on that stuff because I didn't particularly. The time, all that stuff, and in, in the uh, we had the TVA. Uh, TVA in this, right? There's a moment where we see Tom him Wom's in the. Mm -hmm. I'm a little, a little lukewarm on that. But having said that, if this is Gonzo Bonkers, like we're going throughout all this shit, and you're gonna throw an all star cast of fun shit at me, that's what I'm ready for. I'm yeah. ready for that. And if these, if the popcorn buckets are real, we're getting all of them. Yeah, great. We got. I don't think them. those are real. The ones we've seen, I think those are boss logic things, but. They they have said the boss gonna, logic works for them sometimes. I know. It? Oh yeah, I'm just putting it they, out there. They did say that the the popcorn buckets are going to be like ridiculous, and those are that the, there is a real ridiculous one. I think that statement prompted boss logic to make the ones he made. Got the it. holes. Got it. Yeah, holes. yeah, these are great. That's but, so stupid. I mean, that's so knows? stupid. <laughs> uh, I'm in for it. Obviously, my Dune popcorn bucket needs a friend. So. Who started this? The Dune. Popcorn no, bucket. the Dune was the first one that took off, but they. They've always done like tie-ins, product tie-ins. Like it's that. been like in the last two or yeah. three years. Yeah, I think. Really I think it was it a. Out. I read an article about it because AMC was talking about how that arm of their business has like really saved them post COVID. Yeah. Um, Barbie was like another big one when they had a little convertible. Didn't we? What did I um, remember buying something? I mean, they've done this forever, but I feel like they have. <clears throat> There's a, a way more frequent because I had one yeah. from Godzilla '98. Nice. <laughs> I'm what, was that? Of, what was that? It was just a big like Godzilla was like wrapped around it, and everyone hates on that Godzilla design. 
Fuck you guys. I agree. <laughs> it's cool. Hey, Kazari was in there. Don't forget. He was, dude. He was the cab. No, he was the camera guy. Yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. I love the Matthew Broderick one. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We'll watch it one day. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's not. <laughs> it's it's something. The old dad running on the it's dock, dude. Something, man. God, I love that movie. Like that was watching, an era. I just watching, like watching Godzilla, you know. Uh, you know that might be where we, <laughs> where there might be the the Venn diagram ends for us. I'm so sad about this minus one situation. What the hell's going on? Wait, with I was coming to Amazon. It's coming to streaming in Japan. They're right now. I thought they confirmed it was America after all. They could not that I saw. Like last you know better than me. You know last I heard, it is confirmed for Japan. It might end up being in America too, but it's that is not confirmed from what I've seen. And I, I looked this morning what? because because right now everybody is a look behind the curtain a little bit. And in review, we're doing Mad Max leading into uh, Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. All right, oh, but yeah. we have Planet of the Apes. What's the, what's the new one called? If I know, man, Frozen the, Empire, the Frozen Empire of the <laughs> Planet of the Apes, yep. Rise War. I still can't remember what the Kong new empire. No, it's not new empire. Called. That kingdom? was is it kingdom? kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is go. coming in a couple of weeks. Um, so we have one weird week to do to play with. So we were gonna do, we're probably going to do the uh, Mark Wahlberg 2000 <gasps> Planet of the Apes movie. I can't wait. Uh, just because it'll be fun. <laughs> what a terrible movie. But that week. Is the week that Godzilla minus one may or may not be coming to streaming in America, mm. and, and if it does, we're fucking doing that. I can't Hell wait, yeah. but I just don't think it is. Did you find anything? I uh, just uh, I find the exact same thing. Yeah, you it sucks. Because like my thing is, there's ways around it. There's VPNs. There's all this stuff. I want us to watch it when everybody else can watch it too, so they yeah. can actually watch the movie and then watch yeah. the interview. And I would all also that like stuff. to. I mean, obviously we'd rent it, but I want to support it and I'd like to see oh, the yeah. highest quality possible. Oh, yeah. 100%. Especially because specifically because it won an Academy Award for the effects, right? Yeah, so yeah, I kind of yeah. want to see it good. I you can still Godzilla do that though, shoes. with Amazon. Yeah, fair enough. I want the Godzilla shoes that they had for the Academy like Award. Oh, yeah, with the, with with the, the heels out and, and stuff so like that. Sick. So fun. Minus one, man. I can't wait to see it again. Now I'm so mad that it was. It came out at the worst possible time in the middle of the holidays, where Christmas. it's so hard <laughs> to get to the theaters. And now I'm really sad that I didn't see it. I wanna, I wanna ask Joey a question. I know we're getting uh -huh. a little long on this one, but you know, last Friday uh -huh. we had a very special day. James and Elise came to visit. Uh, mm -hmm. They played some Pokemon with me as I continue my journey through Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, we hung out, and then afterward, and she was like, "I would like to do a watch along with you all." Mm -hmm. um, that's incredible. I don't know what that is. But that's that's a Godzilla, Godzilla shoe, shoe that oh, I cool. want. Uh, James and Lisa wanted to do a live watch along with all of us, and of course we put, we pulled the big daddy of them all, Predator, to watch. Mm -hmm. What was your thoughts? I had a great time. Predator. I've never seen Predator. I didn't know. I mean, I like I know Predator because the only Predator movies I've ever seen are the Alien versus Predator mm -hmm. movies, which yes. low bar, low bar, very low bar <laughs> comparatively speaking. Uh, no seems like a great, seems seen. like a great in review universe. Alien One day Predator. we're gonna do it. One of these. They're days. doing another Alien. It's coming out. Yeah, I'm aware. It looks so. You have you seen for? the trailer you know I mean? for it? Thank you. We're married. Greg, you want me to sign you up for an Alien versus Predator no, interview Greg with fucking that. 18 no. movies? Yeah, right. uh, you know what I do. That would yeah, actually no. do. Yeah. Right. Remember this. Let's Time get stamp two this. movies in. Timestamp this. Uh, Greg, all right, what the fuck this is happens. this universe? <laughs> Why do we do this? And then can we do oh, one yeah. big ranking list for Alien versus Predator versus yes. Kong versus Oh, no, no, no. Versus Freddy versus Jason versus Freddy versus Jason, man. What a movie. The AVP universe, as bonkers and terrible as it is, is a guilty pleasure of mine. I, I love so the first Alien vs. Predator. It makes no sense, and I love it. That's the only one I've seen. That's not true. I've, I've seen Alien. You've seen Requiem, haven't you? Oh. Really? Requiem? Alien, oh, uh, AVP, Requiem? No. Is the new Alien movie also called Requiem? No. The, the new, ooh, no, it's not Requiem. I don't think. I don't know what it's called. Called. Yeah, I only saw the first Alien vs. Predator. I can't remember. It. Child, help me out here. Yeah, Requiem. but I had a great time. It's so oh, fun. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, it was interesting. Years. I had a moment, Greg, where I was like, how many people? I think we had upwards of like we what? Had like 12, 12 people. people. And uh, before we started, I was like, how many people have never seen the original Predator? And Romulus. Ev pretty much everyone raised their hand. Wow. And I was like, I'm fascinated to see if people react well to this movie, specifically in this Dwight. environment. Everyone loved it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was pretty cool. It was a good moment for me. I was like, good, I'm not, I'm not off, off my bases here. That's a... Uh... Who's the director on it? McTiernan. Yes. yes. Cigar chomping motherfucker, right? Uh, pre pre yeah. going to jail for wire fraud, McTiernan. Yeah, that's the mm. guy. Is that the Die Hard guy? Yeah. yeah. John McTiernan in the 80s had one of the best runs of like one, two, three punches ever. In like the span of three years, and I could be getting some of this wrong, so chat will fact check, uh, chat will fact check me on this, but he did Predator, Die Hard, and then like The Hunt for October. Dang. And they were all just fucking incredible movies in their own right. Like, talk about the. And then he did roll, Rollerball, and that just kind of ended his career. Wait, Rollerball with T.I.? <laughs> uh, with 
I want to say Chris Klein and L Cool J Rollerball. <laughs> Am I crazy? That was who was. I only I watched no it once. It was pretty terrible. Rollerball is. It was a remake of a Scott or of a James Conn movie about oh. like a death, a, like battle to the death, like roller skating ring thing. It was bad. Okay. It was not very good. Yeah. This Sounds is questionable. Ball. Who's in this? This Kev? is Rollerball. Chris Klein, L- L- J- Rebecca Romaine, and Rebecca Romaine. This is Rollerball. Was Ti also in it? Yeah, McTurner was a badass. Still is. I think he's still he's still directing. Is he still making movies? I think so. I think he's still working on projects, but he did have a falling out with one of his partners whereby he thought the partner was uh, robbing him or like stealing from him. So mm. he wiretapped his phone. <laughs> I think he did a little jail time for that. <laughs> Turns out not legal. Not in legal. The States. Who would have knew? Who would have thought? Greg, you know I'm going to see your phone after this. I got to <laughs> take some shit off of it. <laughs> I was looking into to T.I. And, and he wasn't part of that. No, it was all yeah. cool. T.I. Yeah. was part of some movie that was like, I I'm thought sure. It was over. Some roller Maybe skating. Death Race. It was a roller was skating race? movie. No death race. That's that more was twisted metal than anything. Yeah, but uh, it was it was them. On, it was about skates. Another skate movie doesn't ring a bell. Sk- skating in a ring. You know what I mean? Sure. The yeah. They go around yeah, in the yeah. circles and mm. stuff. I don't know. This weekend, I did something very important. Me and, G, me and G were like, we need we need a fun movie because last week we ended up watching um, anyone but you, the Sydney Sweeney, yeah, Glenn oh. Howell thing. How was the shower scene? All I ever see on my TikTok is people talk about the shower scene. <laughs> Shower scene. I don't remember there being a shower scene. There was a love scene that was pretty incredible. There's a bathroom scene with a where a really weird good movie though. Fun movie. Very, very good use of uh Natasha Benningfield's unwritten. Oh. Uh, which is fantastic. The rest is still unwritten. Yeah. Got you it. saw it, right? I did see this movie. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was it was an interesting it, it was fun. It was a moment. But uh we were like, oh, we want to keep that vibe going, but we couldn't find anything. And then we pulled up uh, you know, we did the thing, blading through whatever. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what, G? Fuck this. We're putting this down. I know what we're watching. Charlie's Angels. Yeah. Yes. We put Charlie's Angels one 2003? on. 2003? And 2001? we watched uh, uh, yes. 2000, I think. Dang. Because Full Throttle was 2003. And that was our Sunday night. <laughs> oh, and what a great we, fucking, we still haven't seen Charlie's Angels 2019. I think we're saving that for next week. Um, I, I don't know. Have, has anyone seen that one? No, it got it was pretty universally like panned, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. And for me, it was, it, we were talking earlier on the stream about Ocean's 8, and it was kind of, I think it felt like it was the same vibe, it was like, <laughs> they went with a different direction for it, like, tonally, and I just don't think it worked. I like Ocean's I 8, it's, though. It's, to me, it hit probably the same, as the same level as the Power Rangers movie. <laughs> okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. Which is Featuring like. Featuring one of the Power Rangers. Exactly. Pink oh, Ranger. Right. Um, so, I think it was, it was fine. I've never wanted to watch it again, but I'm not, like, mad that I watched it. Yeah. Kristen Stewart's just kind of fun when she like is kind of like fuck it. I'm just Kristen Stewart. Exactly. And that's what she so is I, I'm excited for that. But Charlie's Angels very important to my childhood. Yeah. Was a big fan of these movies, and I was like, I wonder how much they're gonna hold up or whatever. And I don't give a fuck what anyone says. These movies are such a goddamn good time. They know exactly what they are. They're both and good. There was like nothing else like them except Nick. Mm. Twenty One Jump Street. Oh, yeah. oh. And I was like, wait a minute. They just did the 21 Jump Street thing before 21 Jump Street did. Yeah. We're going to take an IP that like people cared about, but no one gives a fuck about. Yeah. And we're just going to lean all in on it being like lightweight, like parody, yeah. but also taking it like very seriously. And the amount of set pieces, the amount of stupid fun, the amount of like anime esque fight scenes that they got going on. I'm like, y'all got the fucking stuff here. My and G you have Tom Green. <laughs> I can't think of a movie that more exemplifies 2000 than Charlie's Angels. Like, if you go back and watch that, you're like, this is a perfect time capsule for this moment in time in cinema and in culture. Because it's bonkers. <laughs> it's bonkers, Like, man. it doesn't really take itself too seriously. There's Not cuts in it. There's a montage, like a dressing montage that it seems like, like it's 10 completely out of Tom left field. Tom Green is in it? Tom Green's yeah. in it. Well, remember, Tom <laughs> Green was dating yeah. was Drew Barrymore at, at the point? time. I think mm-hmm. they may have been married. And he's like, what I remember, I, I, would have, I would not have the said Chad. that. I would not have said that. But before, now it would be the three things. I remember three things. The Tom Green scene of him on the boat or whatever. Chad. Uh, Cameron the Diaz saying great. stick it in my slot mm-hmm. and then how much the cast hated Bill Murray they oh just, yeah they <laughs> just did not get along well, with Bill Murray the, 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 there's a lot of a lot of bad feelings that came out of that because I think uh, maybe it wasn't that one I think it was Mick G didn't, didn't get along with Demi Moore on, uh, oh, the, second uh, on the second one I think there was a lot of like egos that were clashing on that one because there's stories of Mick G just being like I can't work with like they're getting nothing done because everyone hated each other and all this stuff but Demi Moore know. fucking 
awesome in the second movie, man. She's so Surfing good. Everything she does is cool as hell. The way that they shoot her, just she's just a super villain, man. Yeah. Like uh, these movies rock. Crispin Joey. Glover's the first one, right? I don't know why you're telling me this. Yeah, this both. is one of like the first DVDs I ever owned. And that's the thing, Crispin Glover, the thin man, the creepy thin man. That's he his character the name. Hair. Creepy thin man smelling the hair. He's the bad guy in the first movie. He comes back in the second movie, and it's like he's just like he's a fun reveal, and then he's there way more than you expect him to, yeah. and he does fun, cool shit. I'm like y'all cared about this franchise way more than you should and in retrospect i don't think we give it enough credit man it's true. charlie's angels one and two awesome i will say charlie's angels one is definitively better than two. Oh yeah um yeah i think two, everyone would agree <laughs> but two not bad people not bad. Like, i remember being like oh this sucks compared to one not true it's just one i think legitimately like there's a good movie in there mm -hmm. two i'm not Plus sure there's a Sam good Rockwell. movie and, Who's and the incredible. dance. You get Sam Rockwell dancing for the first time. That was the first the time I ever saw him dancing. Song. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. Oh, Something like no, no, yeah, that. Yes. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking it was either that or there was a the Daredevil moment with uh with uh, Michael Clark Duncan, right, when he's Kingpin for the first time. I think it's the same song. Or I could be misremembering it. I never saw Daredevil. Oh God, you gotta watch you watch We're, that we're doing it for interview. That that one's awesome. it, uh, Deadpool. Can't wait to get to the playground scene. What a good weekend. I brought it up to him. That was the first thing I brought up today. So we, we were talking stupid. about this during the thing. Yeah, yeah. It's so Dave, fucking. Go, it. Man, you want to you say like, you have your modern criticism kids out there. Of course, we have a lot of younger viewers watching mm -hmm. this show right now. 15, 13, 14 years old. Ian whatever. just got out of third grade. Good for Ian. Wow. Hey, Ian. Fourth grade, that was my favorite year. It's all downhill from there. You all want to complain about your superhero movies. Oh, man, this and that. These, 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 these. We had fucking Daredevil. Sorry, Ben Affleck. And Jennifer Gardner. Colin Farrell. And Colin and you Farrell got, is bullseye, apparently. You got five minutes into that movie, and you're like, oof. I just wasted my parents' money on this film. Steel with Shaquille O'Neal. Fuck, what a bad movie. Do we think that Daredevil, better or worse than Green Lantern? Worse. I haven't watched either of them in 20 years. That would I've never be an, seen either. That would be an interesting You've back to back. never seen either? Mm -mm. That seems... Big it fan. doesn't feel right to be in a world where I've seen the Green Lantern movie and Tim hasn't. Yeah. Uh, I will say it's worse. Okay. Yeah. Because I think I think at least Green Lantern had people behind it that were like, we kind of understand who Green Lantern is. Mm. Daredevil just is kind of off, man. It's very, yeah. very weird. Plus, Good like, Kevin Grand Smith Randall's came here. Charming. You know that? Yeah. That's when Die Hard 4, which was hilarious. Is that the Die Hard with Joseph Gordon-Levitt? Yeah, that's the one where he talks about how much he hated Bruce Willis. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, no, that was because they did the other movie that he directed. Yeah, yeah, but... Yeah. Cop out. He's yeah, also cop in out. many episodes of Degrassi, The Next Generation. He sure. Is. Bruce Willis? No. Kevin, Kevin Smith. Got it. Copy that. Jay yeah. Silent Bob. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's great, man. It's good stuff. Hanging out with Drake. I do want I to point out that Greg could have watched that I made bad decisions this weekend. I know we're probably wrapping this up, but I watched the J-Lo movie. Oh, how was that? It's terrible. It is insane, dude. Like, I it's it. just, it's a music video from like, it's an early 2000s music video, but it's two hours long. Good. And like. It's only an hour. <laughs> was it really? It's an hour and nine minutes. It's, I've never seen anything like it. Like, I can't believe it exists. This is what happens when you have a lot of money and you have nobody around you that tells you no. I'll tell I you also what, loved it, though. On an opposite <laughs> side, another music note. And I, I brought this up beforehand. Y'all should watch the, it's like 52 minutes, Hans Zimmer, Hollywood Rebel. Let's fucking go. It fucking rocks. I am such a sucker for them. They're like, so Hans got hired by this other, this German... Uh, composer and all they use were these synthesizers and they show the old synthesizers and then they cut to the concert and he still fucking has them. I know. He wheels them out. They're these monoliths. I know. The size of fucking that wall and he wheels them out and he's just rocking on the guitar. Some lady's screaming to do oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and the homie's just like <laughs> turning knobs in the back. Like, we got to get that mode fucking synthesizer modulator out, man. It's so badass. Me it's and so badass. Me and G are going to the Hans Zimmer concert. Oh, what you the got fuck? Tickets? Can I go? Tell you this. I mean, they sold ticket. out so quick. Yeah, Dude, I want to go thing. to this so bad. Now. Dude, I'm I'm a, I'll, I'll try to see what I could do, but I, yeah, it's. <laughs> It's a done deal. This oh. was like a fucking, I'm on it thing. Did, am I crazy in thinking they put this out on a on like Max or something? Wasn't there a Hans Zimmer like live in concert thing? Yeah, live came? in Prague in 2017. Dude, I got to go. I want to watch that. that shit. I have it on 4K Blu-ray. No, I don't have it on Blu-ray. But um, <coughs> the, there's a new, his new show. They just put out the uh, um, the CD for and the, 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 on you can get it on streaming services. And you guys, it's it's like every song ever. like Because it's not even just songs he's composed. It's songs that he kind of like... <laughs> did the album for and so then did an arrangement for so it includes 
Top Gun Maverick. Oh, <laughs> and it's just like he does the Lion King, he does no. Top Gun, he does oh. Dune, he does Batman, Super. All of yeah. it. Oh they my just God. they have a moment where they're talking to like the producers and like the guys that help him like do the stuff, and they're talking about the Dark Knight, and they're he, he was like they're like Hans likes to challenge himself <laughs> to see if he can do a theme with like one note. And it, it, they were like, it almost drove him nuts. He was trying to do Joker's theme with like one note. Yeah. And he's like, after six months, he was like, fuck it, I can't do it. I got to do two notes. I, it, <laughs> dude, I can't wait to watch this documentary. Like but dude, I, it's so good. It, watching, I'm trying to like not overdo it and watch every, even though I say that I've definitely watched this entire concert like four times already <laughs> on YouTube. But um, I'm trying to keep G away from it as much as possible because yeah. she doesn't understand. Like she thinks we're just going to a freaking like orchestra <laughs> show. She doesn't understand we're going to a fucking Taylor Swift concert, but no, with violins. Dude, like I saw this. There's like three drummers, like full sets. Oh, there's of drummers. way more than that, dude. It's fucking insane. Every song has a set piece. It's Every so single cool. thing has like a giant moment with like there's hundreds of performers. This would be so badass. Dude. I'm so jealous that you're going to this now. That's oh, yeah. That's when rare. is it? I think it's in September, something like that. But like this, it's rare. He, he tours in like Prague and like over there all the time. Well, uh, but this is one of the rare times he's coming to America. He has. I'm sorry, I'm lamenting on this. But as a as a former band geek, just nerding out on his process is the, it's so fucking cool to see him. He just plays the songs and he goes, "This is what I'm thinking when you hear these chords." <laughs> and for the Dark Knight specifically, he was like, "When you hear the chord progression, it's always always really really dark and sad and like faded." Until there's one moment of ha like like oh, yeah. potentially dun, like dun. goodness, and then you go back down into the darkness. It's so good. And it's I'm like, oh my god, that's fucking. The guy's a fucking genius. Yeah, He's a yeah. genius. Watch this documentary, and then go see his concert. Where is, go watch where the is the doc? No, it's on Netflix. It's a PBS documentary, I think, oh, or a BBC, even, excuse me, documentary. Oh, even better. But they just brought it to Netflix. It's fucking rad. Quick, fifty minutes. Tim, we look forward to your live performance review mm -hmm. in September. But for now, Nick. Take us home. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Kind of Funny Podcast. Thank you so much for joining us. Remember, this episode of the podcast is brought to you by the KF membership. With all your support, you make this possible. Tim has his homework. He's going to go watch Bluey. Mm -hmm. Greg's going to go watch that episode five of uh, the uh, uh, excuse me, X Men 1997. Joey's going to watch all the Dune, maybe even the original Dune, <sighs> the Fincher Dune. By tomorrow, I'll report back. Oh, and I, ladies and gentlemen, am going to be finishing, that's right, season seven of Monk tonight. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.